May 8, 1945. Germany signed an instrument of unconditional surrender. For Europe, this represented deliverance. The war was over. After so much suffering and grief, so many hopes and fierce battles, even the most painful ordeals come to an end. Even the most devastating storms blow themselves out. Hearts were filled with joy, windows were draped in flags, people embraced in an atmosphere of mass jubilation. But behind those tears of joy were tears of sorrow. Nobody forgot the cities that had been laid to waste, the lives that had been shattered. Nobody forgot that humanity had paid the heaviest toll in its history. Our world was forever changed. World War II tore apart the fabric of our civilization, whose fragility had become more apparent than ever. 76 years later, joined by our common memory and filled with the same sense of gratitude, in particular to so many young American soldiers who sacrificed so much, we stand together in thought and pay tribute to the memory of those who fought and defeated the Nazi scourge. For our country, nothing was simple. The battle had many faces, and there were many paths to victory. Despite all the efforts of the valiant soldiers of Montcornet, Abbeville, the Alps, Saumur, and all those who served in 1940, our history was obscured by the dark shadow of the occupation, division, and collaboration. But 80 years ago, in 1941, the flames of resistance were already burning. The tides of revolt and hope were rising, even as repression was forging memories of horror. In Chateaubriand, in the camp of Souge, in Mont Valeria. Free France received reinforcements from its overseas territories and continued its tireless march toward victory. The free French forces triumphed in the sense of Koufra, and Colonel Leclerc had already begun turning his sights toward Strasbourg. Like Hubert Germain, the last of the companions of the Order of Liberation, so many impassioned young people rejected defeat and subservience, refused to serve the will of the occupier. Together, they helped carry France to victory. This was made possible by the fierce battles waged by French and Allied forces, by the free French forces who never stopped fighting, by the dedication of resistant fighters within the country, by every French citizen who refused to see France brought low, who would not allow her to reject her values. Our gratitude to them is unwavering. In the words of Malraux, a world without hope is suffocating. The victory of 1945 was a victory of hope, but it was also the dawn of a new collective effort to rebuild peace and to rebuild Europe. Today, as in the past, when confronted with the trials and crises of our own era, the French nation stands tall, resilient and hopeful. As we stand united and in solidarity, let us remember the adversity we overcame and the freedom we reconquered.